Welcome back, my friends. I'm Paulo. For those of you that don't know who the hell I am, today we're going to be doing a mod review again, and today it's going to be on the Encom Snow Leopard. Okay, it's a 150 watt device. It goes from 5 watts all the way up to 150 watts. It can read candle wire all the way down to 0.05 ohms. I know that's important to a lot of you guys, but it can do it. And it also does um, temperature control in nickel wire. Okay, but that's it. It does. At least the test that I made, it's doing temperature control in nickel wire, not in anything else. But yeah, um, I'm going to say it right off the bat. This mod is cool. It's a cool mod. Everyone at works loves it. And, and at best, you can change the sleeves on it. I got the blue one on it, but it comes with a black one. But I'll show this up close. But yeah, it comes with a blue sleeve. Well, it comes with a black sleeve. I have the blue one on it. Each sleeve costs you $6.99, I think. But the whole mod, complete with a black sleeve, I think it's 35 bucks. I mean, for 150 watt mod, guys. But before we get started, I just want to say congrats to Manuel Philippe um, for joining in on the giveaway in the Void Ray 60 watt box mod. If you guys weren't in on it, I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, he just won this mod. I'm going to have to mail it to him. He has to give me his information. Manuel Fleep, if you're watching me, please send through my email that's down here your contact information so I can send this to you. Um, how did this one work? I put everyone's, I think it was a hundred uh, comments I had there. I put the hundred comments on my uh, TV screen and my little four-year-old daughter went and picked out a name and she picked out your name, Manuel Fleep, so congrats for that, okay? So yeah, I'm going to be shipping this out to you, just give me your contact information. Uh, another uh, giveaway that's been going on is a CL Tank by Kanger Tech. If you guys aren't in on it, check out my last reviews, maybe, I don't know, from last week, I think it was. Um, after the 10,000 views, I will be giving this one away to a happy winner also. So, I hope you guys watch that review also and be eligible to win this tank. So, let's get back to the, um, to the Snow Leopard. Okay, Incom contacted me. I reviewed this mod which is like bulletproof, okay? I don't have any problems with this, we're working great, I really like it, but I really love this mod. The only thing that I wish it had, because it's really important to me, maybe for a lot of you it isn't, because you guys have chargers, but for me, it is really important. It doesn't have a charger, so I can't charge my batteries on this, so I do not take this one to work, unless I take two fully charged batteries in here and another four, because I'm always afraid. Imagine if my, my um, the guy that's supposed to go uh, take my place in the morning doesn't show up. I'm going to have to be working another 12 hours, so I always have to take an extra batteries. For the night, yeah, it lasts. If I take uh, two fully charged batteries and extra two batteries, like two, two batteries in here, and take two batteries, I know I'm going to be safe. But let's say my, my co-worker doesn't show up. I'm going to have to work an extra 12 hours. I can't recharge the batteries, and that for me is important. Just because of that situation, okay? For you guys, it's probably different, but yeah. 150 watts, guys, for 35 bucks. <laughs> Everyone at works loves it, especially when I put the yellow sleeve on it. Everyone's like, oh, even the girls love it. Oh, where can I get when I want one? Well, I'll leave the links at the bottom. Uh, I'll leave the links directly to Encom. Thank you, Encom, for sending me this mod with the other mods uh, for the purpose of this review. It was sent to me for free, but it's not going to change my opinion on the product, okay? So far, it's been working like a boss. It doesn't have all the latest technologies on it, but like I said, it's 35 bucks for 150 watts. But it's not too heavy. It's not as light as the, the Void Ray, but most of the weight in here is the two 18650 batteries that I have in here. And you always have the option to take your, your, um, your sleeves on it. So another thing I want to tell you guys up here, you see, vapor.au. That's a website that I'm hooked up to now that I'm, I'm hipped up about it. It's that um, we do a lot of giveaways there. We're going to be having live shows. And we have a lot of companies there where if you guys go there, um, if you just click on a link, a lot of good companies there, guys. You have Joytech. You have, uh, if you live in Europe, you have Spain Cigar. You have, um, I don't have Kanger Tech there yet. I have to talk to them. Uh, I have their uh, Inokin products. You click on their link, you get discounts, okay? So if you're looking for an Inokin product or whatever product, Maybe even uh, Encom, I'm going to be having a chat with them. If they have their a banner there, you're gonna guys, if you guys go through the webpage, you guys are going to have discounts on it. So please join me in Vapor.io. I really want to meet you guys, and there we can chat. 
you know, live and everything. We're going to have a lot of live shows. I'm working with Rocket PT, which is a really cool guy. He's one of the most um, advanced vapors in the vapor community in Portugal. Um, he's been a really nice guy. I've only known him for a week, but I do know him from when I started vaping. He's been doing reviews for five years, guys, okay? He's been vaping since it was called the EC. It was a real cigarette-looking electronic device, okay? So he knows his shit. And I'm grateful for him for contacting me to join him on Vapor.eu. So if you guys want to stop by and be able to chat with us live, go right ahead, okay? Just I'll leave the links at the bottom. I'll leave the links to Rocket PT. He does reviews in Portuguese, some in English, but not many. But he does do some. So if you guys want to check him out, I'll leave his link at the bottom also. Okay, enough said. Let's get down and close. Let's check out this mod. And then we're going to come back up and I'm going to give you guys my final opinion on it, okay? What do you guys think? See you guys in a second. Okay guys, so here we are, close and personal with the Snow Leopard box. Uh, 150 watt device, it's made by Encom, as you guys can see here. Snow Leopard. And this is the model number, 876, 8792, sorry. Okay, and on the back here it shows you the mod, if you guys can see that. And yeah, you crack it open, and inside here you'll get your manual. Really nice little booklet, I like it a lot. It's nice. Uh, here's the dimensions if you guys want to see it. Okay. And what else? I'm going to read it to you, but yeah, here's, you see, you can get it in like a silver color also. I like my black one, but you can get it in various colors besides the sleeves. So yeah, here's the booklet, all the info on it and everything. I'm really glad I have the black one. I like the black one better, but yeah. And it comes in this little pouch. I got the mod out here. And it comes with like this little wristband thing. You can wear it around your wrist, I guess. Something like that. Or you can use it on your mod. Like say it falls, you can just use it right here. Something like that. I guess I can turn it around and put it like that. Looks pretty cool also. So yeah, you can use it like this. Looks pretty badass like that too also. Especially with the black sleeve that it comes with. Okay, so this is how it comes, guys. And there's nothing else in the box. Okay, that's it. Um, let me put this away really quick. And, okay, let's go to some specs. Okay, so this box mod is 98 millimeters in height. It's 55 millimeters in width. I guess you can call it and it's 25 millimeters in diameter or thickness so you can put a 25 millimeter adding on top of it which will work really great it's a 510 um, adjustable pin connector so any single RDA or tank you can put on top of it it looks like it's brass maybe copper I don't know brass or copper something like that and this is the body this is how it looks at the bottom like that. The body is made out of a zinc alloy and these parts here are ABS, PC, okay, the sleeve. It's in, in here also. I'd say this was an ABS also, PC. Here's your magnets. Here's the screws to open it up if you want to open it up, but these are your magnets and you have magnets inside the sleeve. You guys can see them right there. Okay, it has four magnets, two on each side so it can lock into place from here. I really like to say the NCOM on the inside. It looks really, really cool. And here's your battery sled. And you got another two magnets here on top, okay? So it, it's, it fits in really nice, really, really nice. And you got these like little grips on it where you can hold on to. Really nice, guys. And here you have your screen, okay? You have your fire button, your down, and your up, sorry, up and down button and your screen, which is like a matte screen. It's not too bright. It's like anti-gloss screen. I think it's really, really cool. You don't get any reflection off it. It's an anti-reflex glass. That's what I see on it. And it says it really nice where your positive and negative is, like here. 
you got your positive, and you got your negative, and here you got your positive, and here you got your negative. I really like this band-aid like style thing here to hold in your batteries, the strap. It looks like a band-aid, right? You just put in your batteries, and I really like this. This is really nice. Works really nice. So, yeah, and the contacts, they seem like they're brass. And here on the top, I guess you can see here's a, the top. They're spring-loaded, and the bottom ones are fixed. They don't move. So you put your batteries into the top. So let's get a couple batteries in here. You can see here that it says on this side it's plus. So I'll put the plus on top, and or um, positive. Here it says negative or minus. So you put your negative. Your negative part of your battery is always the part that's more flat. All right, guys. And if you want to pull out your battery, just pull them out with this band-aid type band. They're really cool. And you just slide in like so, and it's done. Five clicks to turn it on. Maybe I put the batteries in backwards, maybe. Did I? No, I put them in right, I think. Yeah, five clicks to turn it on, and it's on. Okay, so here, like a normal screen, you see your batteries. Here you see the, the power you're at, the watts. Let's bring it up to 150. You guys can see it's really fast. Up to 100, it, it, it grows in one increment, one watt increment at a time, and then it's 0.5 increments at a time. So it goes up and goes down really fast, guys. See that? I really like the screen on it. It's a beautiful screen. Because of that anti-reflex class, I think it's really cool. That was a good idea. I see it really nice and bright outside with no no sun hitting it or anything like that. It works really nice. I'm leaving at 55 watts. That's where I like to vape. On this RDA, a 60. The hell with it. I'll work at 60 also. Okay, so here at the bottom, it's telling you that you're in power mode. If you're working in temperature control mode, it'll say temperature control mode, which we can turn it. Just put, oh, wait a minute. Here on top, it gives you the... Gives you your coil, which there's no coil there, so it says zero. And here's the volts, depending on what you have on top. So let's put an Addy on top, and it should tell me what it is. And there you have it. Should be point two four ohms. There she is. And here's your volts. When you fire it, it'll give you real time volts. Okay. Yeah. Now, if you press the plus and minus button or the up and down button, here you can pick either power or temperature. Go to temperature, and that's it. Here you work with. It's at 60 watts. If you want to change your watts, just go down, go back to watts and change your watts on it. But this is your temperature in Fahrenheit and it does with Celsius also. See? It'll round robin. Fahrenheit, Celsius. Then just go up to Celsius, but I want Fahrenheit, so yeah. Okay, so how does this read? It does 212 degrees Celsius, uh, 212 degrees Fahrenheit all the way to 662 degrees Fahrenheit, and it does 100 degrees Celsius up to 350 degrees Celsius. It reads 5 watts all the way up to 150 watts. It can read uh, stainless steel, um, nickel wire, or cantle wire to 0 0.05 ohms all the way up to 2.5 ohms. The voltage, it goes from 6.2 volts all the way up to 8.4 volts. Okay. And yeah, that's about it. Um, I think I showed everything. Zinc alloy, I got like this black finish to it. It's a powder coated black finish. Buttons are really nice. Plus and minus buttons are really nice. Um, what does this do? It'll lock in your system, meaning that you can't fire. But if it would lock in just my power and be able to fire, I would like it better, but I can't. But here I unlock it. So. 
fire again. Uh, if you press your minus or your down button in your fire button, it'll read your resistance. So you lock in your resistance when you're using temperature control. Okay. Uh, I want to turn off my temperature setting here. Yeah. If when you're in temperature setting, if you want to change your watts, you can change it directly from here. And one cool thing about it is that you can do 150 watts in temperature control in nickel wire, which is a plus in my book. Um, but yeah, that's about it, guys. You want to change it back to power mode. And you just put it into power mode. Click your fire button, and we're in power mode, and that's it. Okay? So yeah, that's it. Now... Okay, it comes with a black sleeve, okay guys? But if you want, you just swap this one out. This is how it looks with an orange sleeve. You like blue sleeve? Put in the blue sleeve. Every single day you have a different color mod, guys. I like this yellow one. The yellow sleeve. Really easy to replace, really easy to take out your batteries. You like the green one? Put in the green sleeve. That's how it looks with the green. And if you want, pull it out and put in a purple sleeve. Ladies are going to love this one. Really nice purple also. It's not my style, but it looks really cool though. Purple sleeve. Okay guys, so let's go back up to FaceTime. Let's vape on it and I'll give you guys my final thoughts. See you guys in a second. Okay guys, so we're back. That was our close and personal with the Snow Leopard 150 watt box mod device by Incom. I hope I'm saying the right the, the, the name right, but whatever. You guys understand. I mean the name is right there. It's right there, Incom. Um it's a nice little device, and I'm gonna say it again, especially for 35 bucks. A 150 watt device that works like a charm, all right. It reads your coils perfectly, it's reading 0.24 ohms, which I know it's exactly what it's supposed to be. Okay, that's what it's reading right there. I'm vaping at 60 watts. Let me take it. It responds. Maybe we got a, a second of delay. Let me check. Maybe not. But I'm using the Droid RDA by AugVape. I really like this RDA. You guys have been seeing this one lately. But I like it. I like the flavor on it. I like the, the vapor production. I like the way it doesn't leak on me. That's very important to me. Um... And now I got the yellow sleeve on it. So yeah, you guys can have like one mod for 35 bucks and pay $6.99 for additional sleeves and you can have a whole bunch of different sleeves. You know, the black one, the yellow one, the purple one, the green one, uh, the blue one. Your mod every single day can be different with the clothes you're wearing, I guess. But everyone at work, when I took it with this yellow one, everyone wanted it. And I don't find it in Europe, which is a shame, so I hope Incom can get contacts from um, suppliers in Europe and in the States where you guys can really get this device because it really works really great in power mode, okay? I don't use nickel wire, like I told you guys, so a con for me, first con, let's go with the cons. First con for me, it doesn't do temperature control and stainless steel wire, okay? Um, you got the little device, the new one, I guess it's probably more modern than this one, the void ray, it, it reads the coils and it works nice, but it's only 60 watts. And if you want that extra power, like to work with an RDA with Clapton coils, I don't have Clapton coils in here, guys. It's normal coils, I'll show you guys. It's normal coils, okay? If you want to work with Clapton coils, you're gonna need more than 60 watts, that's for sure. Especially dual coils, okay? If you're a beginner, yeah, you don't need Clapton coils. You can work with the standard coils like I have in here and by the void, right, it'll work great for you guys. But um, if you're a more advanced vapor, and you want to use Clapton coils, you want to get that extra flavor, that extra extra punch. You're going to want Clapton coils and you're going to need more power. At least 80 watts, 100 watts, 120 watts. That's where I usually vape at. So this would be the mod for you in watts mode. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to say. It's a nice device for watts mode, okay? Um, it suits me fine. I like the way that you can change the sleeves on it. I like the construction on it. It's really nice. It feels nice in the hand, guys. I mean, this is like, it's like a velvet feel, like shark skin, sort of like that, you know? I like the paint job on it. It's not too bad. It does chip a little, 
but I have been using this mod a lot. And I got like a chipping right there, which isn't too bad, so it's holding off pretty bad. It's like a, a powder-coated a powder uh, black paint job on it. I like the black one. But I think there's other colors of the, the casing on it. I think you can get it in stainless steel also, but I like the black one. I really like it. So yeah, it's been working great. Let me take one more hit. The screen is beautiful, you guys have to admit it. The screen is really, really nice. I really like the screen on it. It's well shown. I, I can see it. <laughs> I can even see the screen. And um, and the fact that it can do a um, cantle wire all the way down to 0 0.05 ohms, that's a big plus to a lot of you guys, right? I think so. Yeah. I, I can't get lowered in like a point. I already did one uh, point one two ohms. I couldn't get lower than that. But if I use like 20 gauge cantle, I guess I can. I never tried it though. The lowest I have ever gone is 24 gauge cantle. So yeah, that's what I got for you guys. Um, take a look at the website. Join me in vapor.eu. I hope you guys join me there. I really want to talk to you guys live, okay? So join me there. And you guys can get discounts and prizes and everything is going on there. So yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have a lot of stuff going on. And I think we're gonna have a lot of fun, all of us together. So join me there. Hope to see you all on the next one. You guys don't forget, you guys vape safe, rock on, and vape hard. Viper Vapor PT is out, and I'll see you all on my next review or on vapor.eu, wherever you guys want. Stay safe, you guys.